Welcome, I'm Roche Leblum, and I'm honored to share the brief history of the birth of the new Apostolic Church centered around the Eastern Cape and Sydney congregation. For more than 80 years, this congregation has served and led God's people. The history was researched and compiled by Brother Walter Renz, and we'd like to extend our gratitude to Brother Renz for his unselfish service in the compilation of research. We'd also like to extend our gratitude to the Apostle Unity Church in Charlotte, Port Elizabeth, for their assistance in the history of Charlotte community. The commencement of the work of God in the Eastern Cape has its origin in the far-sightedness of the Apostle Friedrich Wilhelm Swartz, who was the first to suggest that the new apostolic church should spread to the other lands. In June 1883, evangelist H. F. Niemeyer was sent to Australia to proclaim the message that the Lord's work of redemption had been re-established. In 1886, evangelist Niemeyer was ordained an apostle of the Lord. Niemeyer met Carl George Kleber and testified to his family about the redemption work of the Lord. The Kleber family was sealed during 1886. Brother Kleber labored with much zeal to further the work of God in Australia and soon received the evangelist ministry. In 1889, Apostle Niemeyer commissioned evangelist Carl George Kleber to travel to South Africa to proclaim the message that the Lord's work of redemption has been re-established. Evangelist Kleber arrived in Cape Town, but due to language barriers, his initial missionary work bared no fruit. He moved to his London because he heard about a German settlement in Berlin, about 60 kilometers from his London. In 1892, a small embryo congregation was established in East London and became the first new apostolic congregation in Africa. This was the home of Apostle Kleber at number 76 St. George's Road, Southernwood. This congregation slowly grew to 70 members. They built their own little chapel in St. George's Street in the East London suburb of Southernwood. In 1893, evangelist Carl George Kleber was ordained as an apostle by Apostle Friedrich Niemeyer. At this point in time, there was no office of chief apostle as yet, and therefore each apostle functioned independently from one another. This ordination was ratified by a letter from the Apostle College in Europe. In 1901, a shoemaker by the name of George Heinrich Verhelm Schlapoff and his family, also immigrants from Hanover in Germany, visited the small congregation. He was deeply impressed. Before long, he and his family were adopted and sealed by Apostle Kleber on Pentecost 1902. On Christmas morning of 1902, Apostle Kleber ordained Brother Schlapoff into the Deacon Evangelist Ministry and commissioned him to move to Cape Town in a second attempt to establish the work of God there. The Gospel spread and on 4th June 1906, the congregation of Palmyra Road in Claremont was established and inaugurated by the Apostle Kleber. This is the first new apostolic church building to be exact in Africa. In October 1906, Apostle Kleber visited the congregations of East London, Berlin, King Williamstown and Port Elizabeth. In Port Elizabeth, he conducted a service in the home of Brother Tunison. Besides Cape Town, Apostle Kleber also sent servants to Port Elizabeth, Durban and Johannesburg. As soon as the congregation in Port Elizabeth started flourishing, servants emerged, whom he sent to Grahamstown, King Williamstown, Berlin and other towns in the Eastern Cape. In 1906, following the example of all the Apostles all over the world, Apostle Niemeyer journeyed to Europe to visit Chief Apostle Hermann Christoph Niehaus. He urged Apostle Kleber to do the same. Unfortunately, Apostle Kleber later separated himself from Chief Apostle Hermann Christoph Niehaus, 
This is when evangelist Wilhelm Schlafhoff was summoned to Germany, where he was ordained apostle for South Africa on 21st September 1913. On 30th October 1921, Apostle Wilhelm Schlafhoff ordained his son Heinrich Franz into the community evangelist ministry to care for the congregations in Cape Town while he traveled throughout the country. During the early part of May 1922, the Apostle Schlafhoff visited the congregations in the Kimberley district. He was looking for a man to send to Port Elizabeth as the Lord had revealed to him that he would find a servant of God in Kimberley who would be able to help the souls there. When approached by the Apostle Schlafhoff, the priest Edward Henry Bell expressed his willingness to go to Port Elizabeth if it is the will of his Lord and Master. Towards the end of June 1922, the priest Bell left Kimberley with a firm faith and promise that the Lord will bless him in Port Elizabeth. His family followed six weeks later. On arrival in Port Elizabeth in 1922, he found about 30 members remaining after the 1913 breakaway. The small congregation assembled in a small hall approximately six miles from the center of the city, as the new apostolic church had no property of their own in Port Elizabeth at this time. In 1928, Apostle Schlafhoff again set out to journey and visit all congregations. Upon his arrival in Johannesburg, he suddenly became ill. He passed away peacefully in the arms of his wife in the home of Bishop Inden in Johannesburg on 16th August 1928. His body was brought to Cape Town, where on 26 August 1928, his interment was at Voltermade Cemetery. As a result of Apostle Schlafop's death, his son was commissioned to take over the leadership of the church in Southern Africa. Heinrich Franz Schlapov was ordained as an apostle on 5th December 1928 and immediately set about to consolidate the various congregations. The divine services in Port Elizabeth were now being conducted in the home of the Wattsworth family in Kempston Road from about 1928. Larger premises were required and the congregation then moved to the village hall also in Kempston Road. This area is known as Village Board. Both these buildings have since been demolished. In 1930, Priest Edward Henry Bell was ordained District Elder and Bishop on 24th July 1935. In 1933, Apostle Heinrich Franz Schlafhoff was appointed as Assistant Chief Apostle for the Southern Hemisphere. Priest John Robert Bell was ordained district elder on 24th July 1938. On 10th September 1948, district elder John Robert Bell was ordained assistant bishop. Apostle Robert Ernest John de Vries, who resided in Cape Town, was ordained on Thanksgiving Day, 6 October 1935. He served as a pillar of strength to the brethren in Port Elizabeth. On 17th November 1935, Assistant Chief Apostle Heinrich Franz Schlafhoff inaugurated Sydenham Congregation, historically called Port Elizabeth Congregation, to the honour of our true and faithful God who continues to bless the labours of these early pioneers and their families. He is accompanied, amongst others, by Apostle Robert Ernest John de Vries. This is the first church building in the Eastern Cape. It was built mainly by members of the congregation with the assistance of priest John Robert Bell. The community elder Robert Suchelar was appointed as the first rector of the congregation. In 1943, a unique funeral was conducted in this church. Two of the pioneering brothers who had a great part in the construction of the church building both passed away within a few days of each other. Their combined funeral was conducted by the Bishop Edward Henry Bell. They were Willie Field and Kenneth Jackson. Kenneth Jackson is the father of the late rector of Sydenham, Ronald Alfred Jackson. In 1949, 
the congregation of Sydenham had a visit from the assistant chief apostle Heinrich Franz Schlafhoff, Apostle Robert Ernest John de Vries, Apostle John Peter Fent from the USA, Apostles Jose Toplasek and Godfredo Rufenak from South America, Apostle Otto Gutenger from Switzerland, and Apostles Otto Wilhelm Waldemar Goerke and Arno Ertmann Abicht from Australia. It is in Sydney that Ivan Patrick Didricks was confirmed in 1951. Ivan can be especially remembered for all the music compositions contributed over the years to the development of the choirs and the music in the Lord's work throughout South Africa. He can also be well remembered for his wonderful baritone and bass solo singing. And the first gramophone record to be produced by the New Apostolic Church was dedicated to Assistant Bishop Jock Schlapoff. On one side, it read, Thanksgiving Anthem to beloved Assistant Bishop Schlapoff for 25 years of service. On the other side was the anthem, Bless This House. This was produced around 1950 by NAC Sydney Choir. The choir master was A.W. Young. During 1954, Chief Apostle Johann Gottfried Bischoff entrusted District Apostle Arno Abicht with the care of the church in Southern Africa. On 16 May 1954, Assistant Bishop John Robert Bell was ordained bishop by the commission of Chief Apostle Bischoff. And on 12 August 1954, Bishop Bell was ordained an apostle by District Apostle Abicht in Port Elizabeth. During the same service, Subdeacon Ronald Alfred Jackson was ordained a priest by District Apostle Abicht and commissioned as the rector of the congregation. When Priest Jackson was sent to Utenaig, dispatch in 1956, Priest Hansi Knutzer was appointed as the rector of the congregation. Priest Jackson returned to Port Elizabeth in 1959 and cared for both Port Elizabeth and Utene congregations until 1962 when Priest MacDonald moved into the Utene area and took over that responsibility. Bishop Edward Henry Bell retired by Apostle Albert G. Budden during 1964 in Port Elizabeth congregation. On the 1st September 1967, a congregation was formed in Charlo, and Ronald Jackson, then community evangelist, was appointed as rector for both congregations. From 1968 to 1970, Priest Warwick was appointed as rector of Charlo until he moved out of the area. In 1973, District Elder Freddy Tischendorf transferred to Port Elizabeth from Cape Town and he was appointed as rector of Port Elizabeth Congregation and Community Evangelist Jackson reappointed as rector of Charlo. On 1st June 1978, the District Apostle Johann R. Kitching Sr. closed Charlo Congregation and members were transferred to the Port Elizabeth Congregation. Community Evangelist Jackson was then reappointed rector of the congregation until his retirement in December 1994. He was ordained into the Shepherd Ministry on the 12th February 1984. On 14th October 1984, District Apostle Johann Rissick Kitching Sr. served 287 souls in Port Elizabeth Congregation that day. The text being Joshua chapter 3 verse 5. Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you. District Apostle Ernest H. Graf served the congregation on the Sunday morning, 21st May 1995. For this service, he used the word from Psalm 94 verses 18 to 19. It read, If I say, My foot slips, your mercy, O Lord, will hold me up. In the multitude of my anxieties within me, your comforts delight my soul. He called on Apostle George Nkonge, and Bishop Martin Hofstetter to assist in serving God's children. Apostle Noel Barnes served the congregation of Sydney on Sunday 4th February 1996. For this service, he used the word from 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 10. It read, 
but God has revealed them to us through His Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. He called on District Elder Carl Nell, District Evangelist Lays Peters, and Shepherd Keith Hendricks to assist in serving God's children. Apostle Barnes was ordained into the District Apostle Ministry on 15th December 1996 by Chief Apostle Richard Fair for the Cape Apostle District. On Sunday afternoon, 8th November 1998, Sindham Congregation had a visiting apostle, Moses Malopo. He was transferred to the Zambia area in 2005. He used the word recorded in Luke 9 verse 35. It read, And a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son. Hear him, as basis for the service, and called on the ministers who had accompanied him to assist in serving the congregation. District Apostle Noel Barnes served the congregation of Sydenham on Sunday, 17th September 2003. On Sunday, 20th May 2007, Sydenham Congregation was served by the Apostle John Leslie Creel, who used the word from Acts 1 verse 12 as basis for the divine service. It read, Then they returned to Jerusalem from the mount called Olive, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey. He called on the district elder Lionel Blau and the district evangelist Godfrey LeJohn to assist in serving God's children. The following rectors faithfully served the congregation over the years. Community Elder Robert Swichelar from 1935 to 1953. Shepherd Ronald Alfred Jackson in the years 1954 to 1956, 1959 to 1973 and 1978 to 1994. Priest Hansi Krutzer from 1956 to 1959. District Elder Freddy Tissendorf from 1973 to 1978. Community Evangelist Eugene Fester from 1994 to 1995. Shepherd Grant James from 1995 to 2000. Community Evangelist Nuren Kanemeyer from 2000 to 2003. Community Evangelist Peter Libesensi from 2003 to 2005. Community Evangelist Franz January was appointed Acting Rector just before Shepherd Keith Hendricks became Rector of the Congregation from 2005 to 2009. Community Evangelist Jean Pierce from 2009 to 2011. Priest Colin Simon from 2011 to 2012. Priest Whedon O'Donovan from 2012 to 2013. It was during the tenure of Priest Whedon O'Donovan that the interior of the building was once again renovated to its present state. During this time, the services were held in the hall of an old age home next to the Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium. Shepherd Gregory Titus was the caretaker rector from 2013 to 2014. Community Evangelist John Clarson from 2014 to May 2018. Priest Brent Sharnick from June 2018 to current. As you can see, there's a picture of our pioneers well grouped together under the text from Isaiah chapter 65 verses 21 to 22. It reads, They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Thank you for listening to the brief history of the birth of the new apostolic church centered around the Eastern Cape and Sydenham congregation. I'm Roche Thank you for joining.